This is a KVM docking station which will allow us to connect one laptop and one desktop to two displays up to 4K, sharing all the peripherals without having to plug and unplug any cables. Just with one click of a button we can switch between two computers. This is one of the latest AV Access KVM docking stations, the link will be down below. So now the laptop is connected via one single cable to the docking station KVM and is charging because we did connect that optional cable to charge the computer so we are receiving and transmitting image data and also power now at this moment if i press this button here i can change from the laptop to my desktop which i'm using this mini pc which is easier to put it here and show on this setup and we can see that it do have three hard drives and if i remove this sd card one will disappear the other two are two internal ssds that i've got on this computer but if i insert the sd cards I will have access to it right over here. Of course, we can connect SSDs and other peripherals to any of the ports right over here. Now, if I change back to the laptop, one of the things that we will notice is that it will pop up this window and I will close it so that I can demonstrate that. If I remove the SD card, which we can see here, it will disappear. So we have access now on the laptop and if I insert the SD card it will appear and a pop up because this is the way that I've got this Windows machine configured. So if I want to place in some data here and then transfer to this one is easy as just using any storage which I can connect to any of these Ports. Of course, on the laptop at this moment, we have the internal laptop screen plus the two 4K displays that are working at 60 Hz right now. We can watch movies, we can work on a document in one side and do anything else on the other side. And of course, do anything else like email or browse on the other display, which on the laptop we have the advantage of having three displays, while on a desktop at this moment we have two displays. But everything working just great. On the front we will find a power button, one button to switch between computers that we already have seen working, two USB type A for connecting a mouse and a keyboard, audio output, an SD card slot, two USB type A 3.0 and one USB type C 3.0. At the back we will find a power input, one USB type A 3.0, two HDMI outputs for our displays up to 4K at 60 Hz and then the PC inputs, one display port, one one HDMI and one USB-B. There's also a one gigabit Ethernet port and then the laptop connections which is one USB Type-C which is the only cable that we will need to connect to the laptop and the other one we will connect to the charger. So if we want to have our laptop charged while we are using we will need to connect that cable to our charger. But to the laptop one single cable. So if I want to take the laptop with me just remove that cable go and when I arrive just connect that single cable and that is it. To set it up it's really simple. I just need to place the docking station on my workspace and then connect a single USB Type-C to my laptop as I was mentioning to the docking station. That is it. Optionally, if I want the laptop to charge while in use, then I just need to connect USB Type-C cable from the power adapter of my laptop into the docking station, completing the laptop connection. On the PC side, I use the mini PC for demonstration that you already have seen, but you can use a regular PC just under your desk. You just need to grab the cables. Now we will connect a HDMI cable and a DisplayPort cable from the PC to the docking station and then also connect a USB cable from the PC to the docking station and that is it. Next I just need to connect the power cable of the docking station and we can plug in any peripherals that we want such mouses, keyboards, SSDs, memory cards or any other USB type A or USB type C devices. You can even charge a smartphone or tablet if we want. Now the laptop that we use must support MST. Initially I was using a tablet with Windows 11 but it didn't have MS so it didn't support image output. So just make sure that your computer has support for MST and DisplayPort output which most of the laptops have. Later on I connected my laptop and it worked just fine without any issues whatsoever. One note to have in mind as well is that if you have a Mac computer with the M chip M1, M2, M3 or M4 
Macs do not have MST, so they will work only with a duplicated display and no extended mode. Now, finally, inside the package, we will find the KVM docking station along with all the necessary accessories, including a power adapter, an HDMI cable, a display port cable, USB Type C cable, USB Type B cable, and a user manual. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop, icons don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official oim keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get even cheaper and hopefully this video was helpful to give you an idea of how a kvm docking station will work with the latest kvm docking station from av access now in this particular case we did use a laptop but i do have a few desktops that also have the ability to share via USB Type-C everything that a laptop has. So have in mind that although it's targeted at laptops, there are some desktops that will be able to be used on the single USB Type-C connection. That being said, hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did so, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Werther George and as always, I'll see you on the next one.